What's going on guys, it's Ali. Welcome to Skill Addiction. If you've been following me for a while, I've been designing and 3D printing this Supra RC car with a real engine. But some of you have been asking me about the electrical one because dealing with this is a bit hard because you're gonna have to deal with the fuel, oil, and burning glow plug. It will be a bit expensive. Some of you have been asking me for the electrical one and when I'm gonna start building one. So I have this extra chassis which being 3D printed by PCB Way. This is not heat resistant for an engine like this so I'm gonna have to use this for electrical one. I've been working on it here and there but not that much. But now I'm gonna have to design the engine. The engine will be a 2JZ model engine just it will be in the engine bay. It will be cool to pop the engine and you see 2JZ engine in the engine bay. I want to design the engine in pieces so you're gonna have to 3D print each piece individually and put it back together with a small screw just like a real one and if you have a 3D printer that can do a multicoloring it's good but if you don't have it that's not gonna be a problem because each part will be each file and you're gonna have to print it individually and you can choose the color and be creative with the color. So I'm gonna be using this chassis for this project but I have a problem with this chassis. This car is gonna be a real wheel drive only and you guys know with electrical one, real wheel drive not gonna be a good for speed because you're not gonna have a brake in the front and for acceleration, it will be drifting a bit. But I was thinking if I put the differential in the front, I'm gonna have to cut the block so I can put a differential over there, but it will be a bit out of scale and I don't have that much space over there. So let me guys know, what should I do with this project? Should I keep it as a real wheel drive just like original Supra? or make it a four wheel drive for better braking and acceleration. There is one thing you should know. Every time I'm posting electrical version of the Supra project and giving you guys an update, you guys thinking that I will turn my Supra project into the electrical one. So don't worry, I'm not doing that. And I'm still working on this engine, the Toyon engine four cylinder for R34 Nissan Skyline. But now I'm still waiting for this intake, which I ordered to be 3D printed in titanium. So once I get the package, I will be working on this design as well. So let's get into the SketchUp and design a 2JZ model engine. And I want to make two versions of this. One model engine just for the stand and it will be cool to have it on your desk. And the other one will be for this project. This video is sponsored by PCB Way. Think about PCB Way as all-in-one platform for CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication and injection molding. If you are working on a custom design like me and you want to have highest 3D print quality, this is the way to go. You just have to upload the STL file here, choose the material, and it will tell you the price and shipping days. PCBWay is linked in the video description box below for more information. Thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video.
Okay, both engines are assembled. This will be for the shelf. It even have a stand like this. And the other one for the chassis. It looks sturdy and not moving. I hope I'm not gonna crash it just like the other one I did. But yeah, it looks so cool now. So I will be ordering the other parts for this project. But let me guys know, should I make it four wheel drive or keep it a real wheel drive only? So both of the files will be in the video description box below. You can find them on Cults or on my Patreon. And soon I will give you guys an update for R34 Nissan Skyline project. Hope you guys enjoyed my project. If you did, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.